Blepharospasm literally means spasm of the eyelids. Now, the exact cause of how this condition occurs is really not known. So, the first clinical sign of blepharospasm is often just increase in the blink rate of the patient. So, you would find the patient to be blinking more frequently and as this condition gradually progresses, these patients would have tonic and clonic contractures of the orbicularis oculi. This is therefore also called as a focal dystonia of the facial muscles which is primarily the orbicularis oculi. Now, these can also have some precipitating factors such as uh, stress or anxiety or bright light and this can initiate uh, episode of spasm which can recur several times during the day. How do we diagnose blepharospasm? There is no specific laboratory test or a clinical test to diagnose blepharospasm. Essential blepharospasm is ideally a diagnosis of exclusion. So, the only investigations that you can do is probably uh, neurological uh, imaging to rule out any structural abnormalities in the brain or other metabolic and inflammatory disorders which might be causing a secondary spasm. Alternatively, you can also have a complete eye examination done because conditions such as dry eye due to reduced tear secretion can also lead to spasm. So, the other differential diagnosis that we need to keep in mind where when we are seeing a patient of blepharospasm is uh, blepharospasm secondary to neuropsychiatric drugs, secondary to dry eye, uveitis or any other ocular findings which might be leading to a spasm and metabolic disorders or an actual space occupying lesion in the cortex which might need imaging. Once we have ruled those out, benign essential blepharospasm becomes your diagnosis of exclusion. By and large, clinically we can see three types of blepharospasm patients. One is the spastic type where the spasm is very classic and the patient squeezes the eye for a couple of seconds and then we have a spasm free interval and this keeps on repeating throughout the day. The other type of blepharospasm is a pseudo apractic type. So, pseudo apractic patients do not have a classic spasmodic contracture, but they might just have an increased blink rate. So, after voluntarily closing the eye, the patient is unable to open the eye quickly. And oftentimes in practice, we see what is called as the mixed type, which is the third type where you also have spasms and you also have a part of apraxia. Okay. Good afternoon. We have uh, Mr. Basavaraju here who is a patient of uh, benign essential blepharospasm. And if you examine his face closely, you will notice that uh, his entire orbicularis oculi is uh, under spasmodic contractions bilaterally. And in addition to that, you would also see that his corrugators and his procerus also undergo spasm from time to time. You can see the increased blink rate, his uh, intermittent attempts to keep the eye open. And you can clearly notice that this is beyond his voluntary control. And he's trying his best to keep the eye open, but unable to do so. Coming to the treatment part of blepharospasm or benign essential blepharospasm, we have three main categories of treatment. One is oral medications which are generally prescribed by neurophysicians. These are basically nerve stabilizing or neuromodulating agents which would control the activity within the nerve and that is expected to control the spasm. Second type of injection is a focal treatment which is acting only on the muscles that are hyperacting and this, this is where the botulinum toxin injection comes in. So, you only relax the muscles which are hyperactive and rest of the body is not exposed to any medication. So, this is more focal and therefore more effective. There are rare patients where botulinum toxin may not work or the duration might be so little that they would consider surgery as an option and in surgery we can either reduce the strength of these muscles by doing myectomy which is removal of these muscles 
or we can do what is called as neurectomy where selective branches which supply the orbicularis oculi can be excised 